Hello everyone, and welcome to Nostalgia Drive, a series where I go over the original Trails in the Sky OST and the Evo OST and compare the two. We've reached the moment, the moment of confession, which is actually the final scene of the game and is definitely the point uh, that hooks most people into wanting to continue. <laughs> The next game right away <laughs> because it's one of the it, it's one of the worst cliffhangers oh yeah right as this comment says right here it's one of the worst cliffhangers but in the best possible way it just utterly destroys you but you're just like nah you i, I gotta find out more i uh, man imagine being one of the people that played this game in english at launch little did they know they would have to wait four whole years and, uh, well, before we get into things, I would very much appreciate it if you guys could leave a like on this video if you've been enjoying this series. They might seem trivial to you guys, but trust me, they, they really help out small channels like myself. It tells YouTube that, hey, people really enjoy these videos, and it pushes them out to more potential viewers. And with that shameless Gilbert-style groveling out of the way, <laughs> let's get into the original version, shall we? Oh. There's nothing more beautiful than just... a simple piano. Oh, and as Joshua is just... pouring out his everything. Telling Estelle all the deep, dark secrets that he's kept inside. Oh. I got shivers. It's so, it's so poignant, it's so sad, but it's, it's so beautiful in, in the same vein. I could just envision it as he's, he's telling the story of, of the boy with a broken heart. How the magician came along to mend it. How he was forced into being an assassin. How he, his original mission was to take out Cassius, Estelle's father. And that's how he ended up being brought home that night. And how he ended up meeting Estelle. Now he has to go. He can't be with her anymore. His mission lies elsewhere. Oh my gosh. But just everything about this scene, man. Joshua telling his, his whole story. Estelle being in shock. Refusing to accept Joshua's selfishness by wanting to leave. When he hands over the harmonica. Oh man. Alright. Let's get into the Evo version, shall we? Uh, original composer was our boy Sonata. Jindo is handling this arrangement. Aiko Yamamoto is on the violin. Hirotaka Ueno is on the viola. Oh, there's a viola. Takanori Yamagishi on the cello. Wow, there's a lot of instruments in this one. And Airi Taguchi on the piano. I don't know. I think it's going to be hard to live up to the original because the original is beautiful in its simplicity, where it's literally just the piano. All of these live instruments, I don't know what else Jindo may have thrown on top. We'll have we'll have to see. All right. Here we go. 3 2 1 Go. There's the piano start things off. Exactly the same.
You just can never go wrong with the sad arrangement of the main theme. <laughs> Whoa. Oh my gosh. Oh, I, I can hear the- yeah, I can hear the cello, I can hear the violin. Oh, and then... I love it. I, 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 lo I love this. The strings came in, filled you with all those emotions, and then we're like, all right, piano, take it away. Oh my god, wow. The way it comes in, just like, like gentle waves, and then like just a gust of wind, and it just picks you up. Oh. Wow. Ooh, I, I thought it was going to end right there. Oh, there's something about those 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 notes from the cello that just it hits me in the in the right in the heart. Like I feel that deep within my soul, man. Oh, that that's it. Wow. That was definitely beautiful. Mm, but again, I just I think there's just something there's something about just the simplicity of the original version where it is just the piano. Where it's almost it was almost more emotional than than this arrangement that had a violin, a viola, a cello on top of the piano. Now, you still had those sections where all the instruments faded out and the spotlight was placed on the piano, solely on the piano. Do I think Jindo maybe tried a little too hard with this one? I don't know. Like, I just, I didn't feel like, yeah, you guys heard, I, I started getting a little choked up thinking about everything. <laughs> When I was listening to the original version, this one was just kind of, I don't know. It wasn't hitting me in the feels the same way as the original version was. I did enjoy it. I quite liked it. I think the added string sections definitely served to enhance those moments. But did they need enhancing in the first place? I, d I honestly don't think so. I think it was perfectly fine as is. You know, if it's not broke, you don't gotta fix it. <laughs> Like, yeah, those string sections, I felt like I was being elevated. I felt like I was ascending. <laughs> but it almost feels unnecessary, in a sense. Like, yeah, in terms of production and overall composition, like, yeah, this one's better. From a technical standpoint, yeah. Because there's just, there's, there's more going on, there's more depth to it. But I think the original version works so well because it's just the piano. It's just, it, it, it's so simple you can't get any simpler than that honestly yeah I've, I've said this a couple times before but the piano is one of the most emotional instruments i think that exist you can convey so many different emotions with the piano and just taking taking the main theme slowing it way down using all those high notes so i'm gonna have to give it to the original version this time you did good jindo you didn't win me over this time. <laughs> Alright, well, thank you guys for joining me on this one. If any of you guys watching aren't subscribed yet, hit that button. Come on. Join the community. <laughs> all kinds of awesome people dwell here. And a very special thank you to all my current channel members. You guys are amazing. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out. Alright, what's next?